Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. More trouble for Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, Alpha Beta Fraud, Group Demand Investigation into van Vandalization of Court, Tinubu Investment in Lagos, and SARS protest. My dear, hmm, we all know of the Alpha Beta uh, Fraud, where Tin when Tinubu was the governor of uh, Lagos State. Governor, if you know how much they give them, eh? even after being governor, how much they are paying them as S governor. If you know the amount, your head will pay you. But I will not tell you so that you don't go and drink Panadol or Paracetamol, whatever it is, painkillers for another man's headache. These people are constant thieves and they don't want to change anytime soon. They, it's so engraved in their DNA that they cannot change. Why he was the governor of Lagos State, he created a, uh, a, a sister company called Alpha Beta, used people for cover up, and guess what? Collecting this Alpha Beta was supposed to be collecting all the revenue from Lagos State. So you are taking from Paul to give to Peter. It's one and the same person. You know, since he left, that's why he's been picking the people who becomes governors in Lagos State. As soon as you rise against him, your days in government is fast becoming over. Right now, with all that happened in Elsa's, eyes don't they open. Nigerians, especially Lagosians, are asking, investigate Alpha Beta. Let's go straight into the news and get all the details. Alpha Beta fraud. Group demands investigation into vandalization of courts, Tinubu's investment in Lagos and SARS protest. Hmm. Hey, my people, Lo is getting on. The fire is eating up gradually. The Coalition of Consigned Citizens, CCC, has called for a probe over a possible sponsored attack on a Lagos court and properties belonging to the All Progressive Congress chieftain, Bola Tinubu, only get a courtroom. My people, how you want justice during the NSAS protest? According to the group, it is likely that the ex Lagos state governor may be behind the vandalization of the high court as well as his own investment. Recall that Tinubu. Alpha Beta and the current manage, managing director of the firm, Aki Dori, had been dragged to court over money laundry by his business partner and former managing director, Dikbo. It is alleged that Alpha Beta is being used for massive corruption purposes, including tax evasion, bribery of government officials, diversion of funds, and money laundry. However, the case filed market LD slash 7330 GCMW slash 2020 was burnt by hoodlums with the lawyers noting that a new case code will have to be filed at Ikeja High Court. So Tinubu arranged that people will burn this court so that that case, Alpha Beta, be, because that's where the this court is where they are having the main problem where his the case has been. so they want to eliminate evidences let's carry on so the lawyers are saying that we'll go to uh, Ikeja high court let's continue and according to the coalition of consigned citizens the attack appeared to be a deliberate attempt to wipe away evidence and cover up by the apc chieftain top secret <laughs> The desperation of some of his business interests, the group recalls and recounts that could be a calculated attempt to keep the Ajigabo political relevance in the build-up to the 2023 general election. The Coalition of Consigned Citizens, however, urged the Federal High Court to, as a matter of urgency, unravel the circumstances behind the NSAS protest and the awesome committed and the gruesome evil committed in Lagos State. It also expresses confidence that indeed a next exit between the protests and the Apex Committee in Lagos has been planned. We welcome you all to this press conference convey to determine a thorough probe of the arson that was committed in part of Lagos State during the NSAS protests. We wish to state that the circumstances that led to the escalation of the violence in Lagos State was indeed 
suspects given the action of the hoodlums that touch some sensitive and selected properties especially that of private consigned citizens including the business interests of the former governor of lagos state ashiwaju bola Tinubu. the leadership of the coalition of consigned citizens feel compelled to inform the general generality of nigerians that indeed from the look of things there appear to be something fishy with the inventory of the property destroyed by being taken into account it is our consideration and opinion that what happened in Lagos State indeed left more to be imagined because it is too much of a coincidence for some selected properties to be destroyed by selected hoodlums. The selectiveness of the hoodlums is indeed suspect and an indication that some individuals and group may have may be trying to insult the intelligence of Nigeria through the desperate action to cover up evidence. We are subsequently consigned to ask consigned crucial questions as concerned citizens of Nigeria. Hence, this call to the relevant authority to carry out a detailed probe of how the hoodlums who selected touch property, especially those linked to a particular individual among the whole of Lagosians. Indeed, a court of competent judiciary slotted to hear a case of fraud against Alpha Beta, a company of the former Governor of Lagos State, Ashiwaju Bola The current, the current issue arose suspicion when the hoodlums burned down the Igbosoro High Court after sorts of hoodlums carried away computers, files, printers, and air condition, and every item that could relate to the case. The Igbosoro High Court, the Igbosoro High Court was targeted and burnt down after evidences were removed. This is on the hill that Mr. Trade, the lawyer representing the former managing director of the Alpha Beta, Dickmo, alleged that the court papers filed against Bola Tinubu were burnt in the process. Hmm, Nigeria, hey, acting film, I'm telling you. The lawyer stated that everything in a Bosoru High Court was burnt, including the register copy of our application. This is indeed strange, an occurrence that is, re that is relevant and most important. Why was that court burnt and evidences carried? Suspected hoodlums carried out the activity. Why? We are also consigned. Courthouses were not burnt, but how come it was only in Lagos State, that very particular court? We are also consigned to add that aside the burning of the Igbosoro High Court, some selected property of Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu was burnt by the hoodlums. It does this not call for consign? My people, leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.